Hey guys, I mentioned yesterday that I was having some trouble getting Apollo Boost and the file link that I was using for the Slack clone to work with cookies. For some reason the cookie doesn't get set. The only way I've been able to get this to work is by using the Apollo link HTTP. So what I want to show you guys is what I think is equivalent code, but one sets the cookie, one doesn't. So here is me setting up the Apollo client. Um, and this is in a React application, and this is actually an example that I used the other day. And then I have my server, which uses an express session middleware. And uh, whenever I fill out this form over here, so just type out this form, hit submit, a cookie is sent back. So it'll work with this setup. So I'm passing in a cache, I'm passing in my HTTP link, and I'm setting in credentials include. That way it actually sets the cookie. So let's see this working. So I can type whatever I want, I can hit submit, and I can see two requests. So first our options, and then our post. And in our post request, we can see a cookie uh, would need to be set, or it tells it to set a cookie. And if I go to application, I can see this cookie is set. And if we were to clear it, and we submit again, um, we see that the cookie is added back, and it is for sure being added. So. If I clear this again, and now I comment this out, and I use Apollo Boost instead. So here's Apollo Boost. And you'll notice, um, same thing. I have the same uh, location for the server. I'm making the same request. And uh, I set credentials include again. Now, for a second, I thought maybe this was wrong. Um, but here is the readme for Apollo Boost. And if we go down to the very bottom, we can see uh, they create a Apollo client from Apollo Boost and they are using fetch options, credentials include. So we're doing the exact same thing there. But now when I run this, the request works. So we submit and you'll notice um, no cookie was set. But if we come in the network tab, we can look over here, uh, the response header is it was successful and it says to set the cookie but it doesn't set for some reason like if I refresh the page it's not there nothing's there so I don't know what is wrong with Apollo boost uh, I think I'm gonna try jumping in and reading the source code for that and seeing how it differs between the Apollo link HTTP but for whatever reason the cookie does not persist or it's not stored um, correctly when using this and so that was the same problem I was having with the one that we were using with the slack clone uh, but yeah I'm gonna look at the source code if you guys know what the problem is please let me know because I would love to use Apollo boost it makes it easier to set this up um, and if I can't figure out I'm gonna go ahead and create an issue on uh, just the Apollo boost github page so that's it for this video guys I just want to show you that problem I've been running into um, I'll post the source code for uh, this and the server um, so you can take a, look at the, take a look at this if you'd like to uh, as well.